finish that thing strong. Just kind of take me through the home stretch. The Tioga guy was uh, running his butt off, but you had what it took to finish that thing. Yes, sir. I mean, it's not really. Man, I came into this race, like I said, I was projected to lose. I was in lane seven, projected to go four. So I'm like, it's over with. I came out the curve. I'm like, it's over with. He started pushing, but nobody could outwork me. I got the heart, the dedication. I have everything. I'll give it everything I got before I lose. So I'm just gonna take it home. Do what I have to do. I hear everybody screaming for me. I know I'm doubted. I gotta yeah, put everybody wrong. It sounds like Catholic you had a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, but obviously you a ton of confidence in yourself. What, um, what did that mean to kind of to to feel like there was that doubt? It sounds like it might have been some extra yeah. fuel. Yeah. What do you feel like gives Catholic. you that confidence, regardless of where you are, what the expectations may be, to know you can get it done on the well, Specifically, last year we had a bad. A I had a bad statement. I came second in 110, and I fell on that curve, stepped the hurdles. And every day for practice and everything I did, I knew I was never going to make that mistake again. I knew I was going to work and grind, so I never had to be put in that position again. And it's like um, everything I do, mostly for my grandmother, but for me, as for my, my family as well, we come from a struggle. So it's like we go, we go grind, get out of the mud no matter what. And, of course, people telling me, like, I lost the people that I was only good at the 110. So I'm like, no, I know I know who I am. I know who people around me who really support me know who I am. So I'm going to fight. So all you can do is just fight. You mentioned, you know, hearing folks cheering for you, whether it be family members that are out there or also this strong Westgate program, obviously state champions a year, y'all were state championship a year ago, and just sort of the, the culture of, of really supporting the track program. Um, what is that like to to be a part of big girls these on bigger the track, things class in terms of family and school state and community. Record. And how so last year, Rachel good does that feel when you cross the finish line and you have them behind you? Man, like I said, one, every day at practice is not about it's not like selfishness. It's no selfishness on our team. Most of the time, it's, I got my home ball inside me. We race and beat each other, but the whole goal is to be great together. You got a saying it goes, it, it ain't fun, if, it ain't easy. If I don't eat, then it's like, I got to eat with my home boys. You know what I'm saying? It's only good if the whole game could eat. We all have to be able to eat. So. A main Shell part of our Joseph, programs is, 14, man, stick together, do everything together, Number fall together, Louisiana rise together. But as long as you get together, together year, it is what it is. We got some dedicated Georgia coaches, champion. some She'll passionate players. Everybody just wants one five, goal, be at the top. Nobody want to be hiding nobody else. We just go work. Iron is sharp in the iron, and that's the type of environment I like to be around. Somebody go push me to my best. Because if we pushing each other, when we come out here at competitions like this, we're dominating. But nobody's going to go on that practice. Lane 7, Sayapo.